Have you ever been scrolling through Instagram and you see all those picture perfect children, the perfect filter, the perfect caption, everything in the picture is just perfect? Well, today we're taking the filter off. My name is Melissa and this is the Couch Mom Club. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you have not joined the club yet, what are you waiting for? Don't even wait till we get to the end of the video. Do it now. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you're notified when I post new videos. Today we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch and we've gone every year since Teo was born. So it's gonna be really interesting to see the comparison pictures from when Teo was maybe five months? I think he was five months when we went. And then we went again when he was one, and now he's two, we're going again, and this will be her five-month picture, which would be really, really cool to see the comparisons. We're going to try to get some of the very same shots so that we have a good thing to compare with, right, babes? We decided that we want to take the perfect picture of our son amid the pumpkins, the beautiful fall weather, the beautiful colors. Everything is just so beautiful around this time of year, and we thought... Every year we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna try to capture an image of him in the same spot and of course we we're gonna post it to our social media accounts and make sure that everybody sees how amazing he is. One time with your sister. There you go. Hey girl. Oh. Reality. Take it. That's such a dream, right? Everybody wants to do this ideal picture and post everything and what people see is this perfect image they see the perfect smile his curls just perfectly flowing and everything is just so beautiful but the truth is that picture that we post is usually one of maybe 40 or 50 pictures that all went wrong he was either crying in one he was either frowning in another. His hair was in his eyes. It is not that easy to get the perfect shot. It is actually cool. Mm. She finds it funny. It is not that easy to get the perfect shot. It's actually very difficult. And I think that when we are out and about, we find these picture perfect moments that we just wanna capture and share it with the world. And there's nothing wrong with that. The only trouble is what we see in the moment that is where perfection is. It's not in the captured image. It's not in the posting it and the likes and all of that. It is actually living in the moment, enjoying that time that you have with your family. We made it. It is um, now a little after 12 and we finally made it. What I didn't anticipate was this long lineup. Like the line is long. But I just said, like just before we pulled up, I was like, this is the perfect time of year to go. Turns out I'm not the only one <laughs> with that thought. We wanted to go out to this pumpkin patch, not only to get that picture, but to have a good time, to enjoy ourselves, to make sure that the kids got out. We didn't expect it to be that sunny, but it was a beautiful day and it was a lot of fun. I got hot, I got tired, and I wanted to go home earlier than I expected, but the kids enjoyed themselves. By the time we got into the car, both kids were knocked out cold. It was actually funny. Teo even lost his apple as he fell asleep. So we wanted to do all of the activities that we could do. Some things were shut down because of COVID and other things are kind of limited. But we thought we're here, the picture is just only part of the reason why we came. So let's just go out, do all of the things and have a good time. Of course, the order of which we did things in might not have worked out to our advantage because at the end of the day, when we wanted to take the perfect photo in the pumpkin patch, we realized that one, there was no pumpkin patch because of COVID and two, we waited too long to take that picture, so the kids absolutely had enough. 
and it was so difficult to get that one perfect photo. They're really serious about the COVID-19 precautions and safety measures and I really, really love that. I feel very safe. Um, we just found a spot to sit down really quick so I can gather myself and then we will go and pick our apples. Right, Dale? What's this bag for? For the apples, Mommy. Yeah, it is for the apples. We're going to pick apples, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's apple cider. Apple cider? Good. Very yeah. nice. You like it? Yeah. I want some more Coke. <laughs> you want some more Coke? Yeah, I want some more Coke. The thing that bothers me about this whole thing about capturing that one perfect photo is that when you post it, nobody knows the story behind the picture. They just assume that as they like it, they double click it or whatever it is, they are clicking into and buying into this idea that wow, they have the perfect life. Not so. There are tears, <laughs> there is sweat, there is getting dirty, there's everything that you can possibly think could go wrong. All of that is happening behind that one image, and that is the truth. The truth is sometimes masked behind a perfect image with the perfect filter and the perfect caption. But enough all of that. Let me tell you something. When you have kids, the only thing perfect about that life is the fact that they're here. But trying to get a picture that, you know those TikToks and those reels that everybody's doing? Let me tell you how long <laughs> it actually takes. A three second video takes like 20 minutes just to capture that perfect shot and to make sure that it is in the time, it is on point. See, they know when to perfectly interrupt you. <laughs> but the reels and doing pictures and you know sitting nicely for a family photo, all of that takes so much time and so much effort and nobody sees that. So because of Corona, we had to make our own pumpkin patch, <laughs> which is so sad. But I'm hoping that these do get um, taken to a nice home. We won't be taking them. Um, but we did pick them in order to take a nice picture. I was talking to a mom the other day and she said, you know what, I just absolutely hate YouTube and I hate Instagram and I don't like the way that moms are portrayed because they make it look like parenting is this easy, beautiful experience. There are times when it's easy and there are more times when it's beautiful, but the overall thing is that it is hard work. And there are times when you do not wanna capture what just took place in a video or in a picture or even in your memory, you just wanna forget the whole thing. And I think that that's why I'm here. Like, I wanna show you the behind the scenes. I wanna show you what it really is like raising kids. It's not always postable moments. Of course, I have lots of those too, but that's only, I wouldn't even say half. And it usually happens by accident. It usually happens because you were just that quick to get your camera out, to get your phone out, and to capture whatever else was happening. But let me tell you where the beauty is. The beauty is not in the photo. It is not in the filter. It's not in the caption. It's not even in the hours and the hours that you spend making it look good. The beauty is in the moment, like living the actual moment. What we capture on camera is only a percentage of it. And the point that I'm trying to make is that when you are scrolling through, when you are looking and clicking and liking and doing all of that on social media, remember that you do not need to compare yourself. You do not need to feel like it is something to live up to or that it's a standard of motherhood that you have not achieved. Throw that out the window. Wherever you're at, however you mother, however you make it through the day and wherever you find beauty in raising your children, all of that is good. All of that is where it's at. 
and you do not have to compare. The problem when you see those images is that you feel like, hey, are these people living in this filtered world? Do their children get dirty? <laughs> are their houses ever in disarray? Like you're asking yourself all these questions as you're scrolling through. Yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you right now, yes. I have filters on my pictures and I have a nice little grid on my Instagram page and you think that that is my life. But the truth is that is only a small portion. Don't compare yourself. I promise you the way you live, the way you capture the images of your kids, whether you're using a filter or not, the moments that you're living in, those are the beautiful parts. Speaking of beautiful things, did you see my new intro? It's cool, isn't it? Hit that like button and tell me what you think about it in the comments. This is a new season. We are in a new season. New intro, new season. What's coming next is about to blow your mind. Make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss anything. Join the club. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that you're notified when I post new videos. Of course, I always want you to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, and I will see you in the next video. I want to do more Coke, Mommy. You didn't have Coke. What did you drink? What was in that cup? And the coke in it. Coke was in it? Yeah. Can you put the coke in my cup? You don't drink coke.